Hey guys, so this is it. This is your initial look to the iPhone 13 Pro Max courtesy Unbox Therapy. So there are a total of 4 iPhone coming in and the most exciting is Pro and Pro Max cause we finally have the 120Hz Samsung's LTPO display which means variable refresh rate to give amazing smooth experience and to save battery. Samsung is also providing with circuit boards which connect the OLED display to the phone itself. So yeah, Samsung is for sure helping them big time. The new display and cameras which Apple is using is gonna make the iPhone 13 Pro Max a tiny bit thicker and in addition to this the camera module is now bigger for huge lenses. So this do hint some huge camera changes are coming in and you can see there is no periscope lens or something cause that is reserved for 14 or 15. Now the huge changes comes on the front design which is finally a small notch. Yeah this looks similar to the notch we saw in the OnePlus 6. Yeah I wish there was no notch no hole cause Xiaomi and Samsung all set to launch full screen display phones this year only so it's odd to see Apple using 2016 design. Yeah still I do appreciate the change in notch. Now they have done some significant changes to make the notch small. The earpiece location is now on top and Apple is still keeping all the face ID sensors and front facing selfie shooter. The overall design looks really nice, same boxy finish like the iPhone 12 series but I still do hate the notch. Inside this beast we'll get A15 Bionic Silicon and this is based on 5 nanometer plus fabrication process. You won't see a massive change in the performance but I guess this will help them improving the battery life which is gonna go down faster with the new 120Hz display. Some huge changes coming in for the iPhone 13 and 13 mini. We are getting this not so cool looking camera design. The notch is of course smaller than before but sad part is it's not coming with 120Hz display this will still stick with the 60Hz panel. You can see the charging port is still there in the iPhone 13 series but MagSafe is the future and the iPhone 14 will likely go portless according to Ming-Chi-Ko. So I guess it's more future safe if you buy the MagSafe. This stand I'm using is from Toast and I like how this looks and works. I'll leave a link if you want to buy this one. So yeah this all guys the iPhone 13 series looks exciting the specifications also mind blowing. Yeah design is quite 2016 ish if you hate the notch. You can always wait for the iPhone 14 rumor to feature punch hole selfie shooter. Yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.